Hey, Kristen again. Uh, this is actually my third or fourth time trying to do this reaction. So hopefully with this one is the time that it works out. Uh, the dumbest thing is I just did it a few minutes ago, the whole way through. Nearly 20 minute video. And yeah, I realized that where is this Kristen reacts, said Kristen talks because I'm playing around with some ideas for different kind of things on my channel. And I was like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. I just sat here and watched this the whole time and didn't realize I had the wrong thing written. <clears throat> so, uh, let's try this again. Uh, this is this is America by Nick Natoli. Uh, do, uh, this was requested in uh, another video at some point in my comments. So I want to do this even though I've done it several times and uh, all that stuff. So, you know, if somebody asks for it, I do want to try to deliver. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can, <clears throat> hopefully I can do something good because <clears throat> kind of tired of talking about it again. You know, you do something a few times, it's just like, maybe this isn't meant to be. But, uh, I hope you enjoy, and if you want to watch the original video, that will be in the description. And make sure you show support to this artist, because I, that's what I'm all about, is uh, bringing other bring music to other people and that's what I love so let's uh check this out and hope this works this time anyway this is America by Nick Natoli look why 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 huh why are you here? If there's no left for my country, you're not even from here. You won't even rap all the colors. You won't just accept us as brothers. Why are you? Yeah. You have to wonder why people, you know, hate, hate on the country. Especially if you're, like, not from here. And you, like, do all this stuff to come here. And then you hate on it. It's like if you don't. It's like, and then there's the people who were born here. It's like, I get it, you didn't choose to be born here, so I mean, yeah, that's one thing. But the thing is, is, you know, do you really need to hate? I mean, trust me, I get it. I get the struggle. I really do. And it's kind of something, you know, life struggles is one thing that I want to bring to my channel. But at the same time, it's like how to do it without sounding too complainy I mean I don't want to sound like one of those people <laughs> I mean some of those people are pretty annoying I mean not always not just somebody who shares their story but the you know you know the kind of people I think you get the kind of people the kind of people he's talking about <laughs> anyway let's let's keep going Stirring the pot, why don't you leave? This is America, like it or not. We don't need this, we don't need you. Look at the guns that we got. Look at the wars that we fought. Look at the plan and the plot. Look at the faces that's carved in the rocks. Rocks, look at the inside jobs, yeah. You don't notice who you fucking with. Bombs away, now you fucking lit. Everybody know we running shit. Liberals talking on some funny shit. First Amendment got deleted. Why? First Amendment exactly why I want to do this why I fight it out with my anxiety and my terror some, sometime terror and fear of you know doing this thing on YouTube uh, yeah I mean it's something that I want to make a career out of at some point wait career just to in case that didn't come out right because I don't know. I think my anxiety is still a little like, ooh. So if I'm not like pronouncing my words properly, just bear with me. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, but even more than that, it's that, uh, I mean, if I really wanted to like be successful in here, I mean, 
you see the TikTokers and stuff. I mean, look at me. I could probably be a hardcore SJW if I wanted to. <laughs> but I, I don't believe in the stuff they're spouting, honestly. Like, I mean, there could be bits and pieces that are valid from anybody, but that's just not, that's not me. And I'm all, and they, they're using their First Amendment rights, but they don't, they want to take others, other people's First Amendment rights away. It kind of seems. <sighs> or at least shame them into not using that right might be a better way to put it. So yeah, I mean, right, what he said there uh, about the First Amendment. We running shit, liberals talking on some funny shit. First Amendment got deleted. Why is that freedom of speech at? Somebody tell me the meaning. This is the message that all of us needed. Look at the statue tearing up. Why do you hate on America? But you're not even a They say about the statues being torn down. I think. Uh yeah. That's just that's not even cool. I mean that's history. I mean, regardless of how bad some of it was, that's still history. I thought that we were supposed to remember history so we don't repeat it. What's going to happen in 100, 200 years when all of us are long gone? Everyone who, you know, and they're changing history so much to dumb it down. And they're just... Luckily, there's, hopefully they don't completely wipe out all of these artists and videos and the music that people are making now that's trying to remind people because if nothing else, someday that'll be, that might be all people have to look back on and learn about this time. But just don't forget don't forget where we've come from but don't get stuck in it and yeah American, why do I think you don't care enough why is the president always offended when well, we got some questions about how this is going and where this is yeah I kind of feel like he's saying like kind of talking about how nobody can question you know, the current president, it kind of seems like, and, which is kind of funny because I've actually seen people afraid to use the 45th president of the United States name in on YouTube. I've heard, I've seen it literally, like, censored because people think that it's, or maybe, maybe they're right, that it's gonna get them, uh, get them, I don't know, in trouble with YouTube. I don't know if it's with YouTube itself or the advertisers or what, but that's just disgusting. Somebody who was literally the president for four years and you could say all day and night, whatever, he, oh, impeachment, impeachment. That, that was a freaking kangaroo court and everyone knows it. Twice! And they still didn't do anything. He was still president until, you know, the end. And, uh, I won't get into all the other stuff of, you know, all that because, you know, this is a new channel and I'd like to, I'd like to see where this thing could go. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, no, mm, nah. Enough. Why is the president always offended when well, we got some questions about how this is going and where this is headed? I think there's something that we all forget and it feels like, feels like a war against a percentage, but they got the money, so they got the leverage, but we got the people. Don't ever forget it. And we got a movement that starts with a letter. Why are we fighting for toiletries? Feels like the world got a hold of me. I just turn off all this. Do you say, why are we fighting for toiletries? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, I've heard stories even I don't I don't know how recently but I've heard stories in the past few years about uh, people not being able to get tampons and then I remember back in 2020 going to the store we'd take our 
maybe weekly trip to Walmart. We lived in the country, so we we kind of, you know, we didn't, even before everything went, uh, da went down, uh, we didn't go out that often. But uh, we would go out and it would be hard to find a lot of stuff. I mean, obviously it would be hard to find uh, toilet paper, uh, wet wipes, uh, paper towels, everything. I mean, I, I never fought anybody for them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's crazy. CBS. Now it feels like I can CBS. Why are you down on one knee? Because of a feeling you had. I guess the NFL sucks. Why don't you play? Yeah, I'm pretty sure from what I can gather from that, I don't follow football or anything. Funny story, though. Uh, I think I remember when I was a little kid, uh, I don't know, my mom talked about the Super Bowl or something, and I thought it was like a giant, literal giant bowl. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, that apparently, uh, this, uh, football player guy, he, you know, was like, oh, I'm down on one knee because of the tree, you know, because of all the, because of all the people that police are shooting and everything. And, but really, that it really didn't have anything, that that wasn't the only reason he was doing it, that he kind of used that as, as an excuse but it was, I can't remember the details. I'm not going to try to talk about something too much that I really don't remember the whole story. But I've heard other people discuss it. And it's, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's horrible stuff that happens. But it happens to a lot of different people. And that just means there needs to be more training. You know, you don't need to get rid of it completely. And you certainly don't need to be getting on your knees when it comes to, you know, you know, comes to, you know, the national anthem or standing for the flag and that kind of stuff. But anyway, let me, let's go back just a little. Glenn, you had I guess the NFL sucks. Why don't you play in Iraq? I bet they need a quarterback. I bet when you throw it, you're strapped. I bet you get killed by the half. They throw in grenades. I just hope you could catch. Why are we feeling so ungrateful? Why the country turning hateful? Why the fuck we talking race now? Why the fuck is feeling late now? Damn, Nick. You can't say that shit. I can't play that shit. I can't dance at this. This, that, cancel shit, okay? <laughs> yep. Can't say that. Like I said, can't say the former president's name just present for four years but god forbid you say the name because it might make somebody upset or it might trigger somebody and i could go on a long rant about the word trigger not in this video this is not the time or the place but uh yeah if uh I might have to I might have to make a separate video uh Kristen talks or something on that like just the background and understanding I have for the word triggered and the way it's being used now and I don't know just that could be interesting but we can go back just long. That shit. I can't play that shit. I can't dance at this. This that cancel shit, okay? Why are we scared to be Americans? Why are we fearing the worst? One nation under God, but we put America first. Trying to try to take over. Yeah, I hate for your bubble to burst. I put my toes in the dirt. I knew the devil would lurk. Yeah, I can't tell what the fuck it is like. Is that a boy or a girl? Welcome to the new world. Like, welcome to. Is that a boy or a girl? Wow. I guess this is something I could also make a solo video for, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, I'm very, very open-minded. Like, uh, I guess when I was, like, I don't know, 17, 18 or so, uh, there was a all-ages goth night at this one club, and, uh, 
me and my friend would go and I mean it, it was like it was really cool like there were guys guys in dresses and everything and it wasn't it wasn't like uh, now everybody it's like if a guy wears a dress oh all of a sudden he's either trans or non-binary no there was a time when that was literally just expression okay that was expression can we go back to when you could be different and it didn't have to be like oh you know everyone has to like get behind this like no I don't care like you know okay going back to that time thinking back in like say high school do I wish people would have just you know just left me alone and not been jerks yeah definitely but I mean the thing is is people people saying people making things out to be like if you're a guy who is like oh I'm gonna wear a dress it automatically means you must be not really a guy how about if you're a guy who occasionally likes to get dressed up, go out and have fun with your friends, put on makeup, dress, etc., and you're still a dude? I mean, it's very reasonable. But I feel like now that's not possible because once a guy wants to put on a dress, all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, dude, you're not really a dude. Because you, cause obviously dudes don't like to wear dresses. It's like, okay, no. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's historical standing for, you know, other cultures. Men having long hair, wearing makeup, wearing dresses, and still being men. You know? So, I'm very much for uh, subcultures, countercultures, and stuff. And I don't want that to be whitewashed. <laughs> I don't want that to be, like taken away and made normal like I've never been normal I don't want your normal I mean I can appreciate other people who you know fall into that category of normal the what's normal like I mean I've watched some you know I watched some content creators and uh, both you know independent and you know with you know more with the more main not mainstream but mainstream maybe conservative like you know creators and they'd be totally probably like totally against a lot of the things that I'm down with that doesn't mean I can't like appreciate they have their own point of view and occasionally sometimes I agree with them on certain things but that's another thing that I might want to do is do some reactions to things that I see other people say because not to be disrespectful n not at all because I think that it helps for people to get other people's point of views and stuff especially when they're coming from a similar angle where I see what you're saying I understand it and I I agree with certain things I don't know why I just got went off on that rant but oh, oh yeah because hold on like, is that a boy or a girl? Oh, is that a boy or a girl? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, but I know what he, the way he's saying it is like these days you don't, don't really know. The thing is, is back then, back then when, you know, I was in that scene in, you know, like the golf scene and stuff, it was like, you know, I typically knew like if I saw a guy in a dress, it's like, okay, that's it. That's a guy in a dress. Now it's like, it could be, it could be a biological girl who is non-binary and er, calling themselves non-binary that is also dressing like a girl or something crazy like that. You know, just, I don't know. It's very confusing, and I think people have made it way too confusing for everybody. Anyway, let's finish this up. Welcome to the new world, like, welcome to the new world, yeah.
Okay, uh, yeah, well, this ended up being a 20 minute video because I went off a little different spots. Anyway, uh, I wasn't sure if I had it in me for the third or fourth time. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is something I'd go back to time and time again over and over and over because sometimes it really gets exhausting. <laughs> And I feel like this is more like a 2020-2021 type song. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good in general. I mean, I like the message, like, saying this is America, you know. <clears throat> and I feel like a lot of people are being silenced or trying to be silenced. Like, if you say something, you know, you can get totally wiped out or... or shadow bend or whatever and I don't know just uh but uh yeah I like it I do like it uh but I don't know if if this is good as far as reaction goes I said what I said what I thought and and I guess that's the whole point of a reaction if you want somebody else's reaction I guess watch somebody else's reaction. If you want to watch the video, watch the video. But, I mean, that's just the thoughts in this video is what came to my mind as I'm listening to what he's saying. Anyway, uh, see you at the next video. Thank you. Like, subscribe, comment, and make sure you hit up uh, Nick Natoli's uh, page and uh, watch this video there. And... Uh, Give it a like if you haven't already. Uh, if this is not your first time, then cool. And uh, I will have that information in the description. Anyway, uh, hope to talk to you again soon. Or, well, I guess that's up to me and I'm not technically talking to you. Well, other than video. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hopefully eventually I'll get this down a little better. Bye.